Hi guys. All right, hi. I have all of you that are on Zoom muted, um, so I cannot hear you, but those of you who have your uh, video on, I can see you all, so hello. Those of you who are with us on Facebook, obviously, um, you can only see and hear me and I cannot see or hear you. Um, if you guys don't mind letting me know in either the comments or the chat feature how many kids you have participating with us today, um, we need to try to keep statistics on how many kids are doing the summer program. So if you can't write this second, just message me later, but I just kind of need to add everything up at the end. Um, so if you could let me know one way or the other, that would be awesome. Um, I am going to go through all the materials that you will need for this program in just a second. I think that all of you have picked up a craft bag, which is perfect because that had mostly everything in it. I'm looking at two iPads right now. I have one that's going with Facebook and one that's going with Zoom. So if you see me like going back and forth, it's because I can't decide um, where to look. So that's what's going on. I look like I like can't focus, but there's just two iPads in front of me. So, um, but I'm gonna go through really quick and just make sure that everybody has everything that they need. Um, and then if there's anything that you don't have handy, we'll have to run and grab it really quick before we get started, okay? So first of all, this is what we are making today. We have our lovely, bean stalk here. We planted this one about a week ago. So ha hopefully after about a week, you guys will have a nice bean stalk or two growing up toward your castle and your clouds. Um, so that is what we're going to do today. I hope you guys are all excited. I thought this one was really fun. So to do this, what was in the craft bag, like I said, I'm just gonna go through real quick and then I'll go through the things that you needed to find on your own so that way we know we're all prepared. So the things in the bag that we gave you, we gave you a pot. Um, some of you might have a pot that looks a little bit different. These were left over from a couple of summers ago um, and I didn't have time to order any more. So we have some of the, um, they're brown, kind of cardboard, the compostable pots that some of you got too. Um, so your pot might look like this or it might be brown and be circular. Um, and the instructions for the two different pots, it'll be a little bit different at the end. So for right now, there's no difference. It doesn't matter what kind of pot you have, but at the very end, I have separate instructions for each different pot, okay? So that is the pot. We also gave you a bag of dirt. So you should have soil in here, perfect. And then in this little cup, you should have some bean seeds. There are probably a few in there. You can see, if you look real close, you can see that I have a few different bean stalks growing on here. So it looks like all three of our beans sprouted, which is awesome. So we'll have to see maybe if you get three bean stalks as well. Um, what else have we got? Okay, and for the more crafty part of this, you have a wooden skewer. Be very, very careful because it's probably sharp on the edge, okay? So make sure that you're leaving this on the table. Don't be poking anybody with it or make sure you're careful, okay? Because it's might, it might be pointy on the end. And we've also got our castle, our cloud, and then you should have some cotton here to make your cloud look all puffy like this one, okay? And I just realized that I told you you needed tape, which you do to tape everything to the skewer, but you're probably gonna wanna use glue to put this together. So I'm gonna wait just a minute if anybody needs to run and grab some glue. That's totally my fault. I did not put that on uh, your bag. It was something that slipped my mind while I was putting the craft together. So I am sorry. I'm hoping um, that this will get easier as the summer goes on. But for now, this is our first program like this. Um, so I messed up. So if you have glue, um, you might wanna grab it because it would be easier than trying to use tape. 
So I'm going to give you guys just a minute um, to make sure that anybody that needs glue can go get their glue. If you have not yet commented um, to tell me how many kiddos are watching, um, that might be something you can do while we are waiting, uh, just so that I can kind of keep track of how many kids we've got participating. Normally, during the summer, you guys come in and we just use our little clicker and mark how many people are here, but it's a little bit harder now that things are online and we still need to um, report those numbers of how many kids participated. So please just let me know. Just the number is fine. I mean, you can tell me who's watching if you want to, but I really just need numbers. And those of you that are on Zoom, I can see you, so I can see who's watching. But those of you on Facebook, obviously you're just watching me and I'm not seeing you. So if you could let me know how many um, we've got here then that means I can get an accurate count for this one. So, okay, I think those of you who I can see on Zoom who left to get glue have returned. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, okay? Are we all ready? All right, cool. All right, here we go. This video is gonna be saved on Facebook um, so that you can watch it again later. So if anything happens, if you get behind, you know, if you have to stop for whatever reason, it will be on Facebook on the like big library page, the Greentown Public Library Facebook page. It will be saved on there if you need to watch it later, okay? All right, here we go, are you ready? We are gonna start, I love how many of you are outside too, that cracks me up. We're gonna start by putting our dirt in our pot. So if you have a pot like this, you have a little square thing too. So what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna put the pot on the square thing. You see how it has holes in the bottom? You can see through. So some of your dirt might end up on the table if you don't put your little square underneath it. If you have a brown pot, I don't have one of those with me, I am sorry. If you have a brown pot, it does have a hole in the bottom and there was nothing like this to go underneath it. So you might wanna grab a piece of paper. You could even use your bag and set it on top of there so that your dirt doesn't make a huge mess. Uh, but that's that's something we got to do first. We got to keep it keep it clean. All right. So once you've got that, you can take your dirt. This should be just enough dirt. So we measured it out. So if you want, you can just pour your dirt into your pot. If you've got little ones and you want to work on fine motor, you can get a spoon. It's totally up to you. I'm just going to pour mine. But you can just pour, those of you on Zoom, it's a little bit different view than on Facebook. Um, but you can just pour your dirt into your pot like this. You might have to kind of push it down a little bit too, and that's okay. Okay. If you've got a clump like me, I'm going to take it and I'm going to break it up with my fingers and sprinkle the dirt on the top. All right. So when you are done with that step, your pot should look like this. You can kind of see where the light is. I'm not going to tip it because I don't want to dump all the dirt out of it, but you can see that my pot's pretty full. I can't do like where I hold it right up to the zoom camera like I'm off the edge for Facebook and when I do Facebook I'm off the edge for zoom so this is kind of a weird setup but anyway this is what it should look like once you get your dirt in your pot okay all right the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna make a little hole for the beans, okay? We gotta make sure we put our beans down inside the dirt and then put dirt over on top of them so that way they're buried and they can grow out the top, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at my pot. I'm gonna try to put a hole in with my finger in the very middle, okay? So try to put it in the very middle. I'm gonna make a hole probably like one knuckle deep grown ups. I know my hands are bigger than theirs, but not super, super deep, but deep enough that you can put your bean seed down in there. So make a hole. Like I said, I don't think I can really, you can kind of see, but I'm really trying not to dump dirt all over the place. So I'm sure most of you grown ups have probably potted a seed before and can assist 
<laughs> and the hands gone. All right, once you get your hole in your dirt, we are going to put our seeds down inside the hole, okay? So if you want, you can get them out and look at them real quick for a second. So these are our magic beans. And that's what's gonna grow into these nice bean stalks that we have on our, um, on our example here, okay? So go ahead and put all of your beans in that hole. And then we'll see, hopefully more than one of them will grow, but I'm sure at least one of them will. So go ahead and put your beans in there. And then what you can do is you can take your finger and you can put some dirt back in that hole that you made on top of your beans, okay? So when we're all done, it should look just like it did at the beginning. You can't see the hole anymore. Our beans are buried. They're down in there safe and ready to grow. So the next step, there are two different ways you can do this, okay? So I'm going to explain both of them and then whatever works best for you, whatever kind of material you have is fine with me. So we're going to water our bean seed and if you don't have stuff right this second to water your seed, you can wait till we're all done, it's up to you. Um, but if you have a spray bottle with water in it, you can just spray, maybe do like two or three sprays. You can kind of see how wet it gets. I don't know that that'll be an exact science since I can't see how much your bottle sprays, but you can spray it a few times or if you don't have a spray bottle, if you have like a little container, you can put water in it and just dump it over the top. It's up to you. This one I watered in the sink at the library. Um, I just put it under the faucet and it worked out perfectly. So that's another option, but I know none of you are probably sitting right at the sink right this minute. So whatever you wanna do, I'm gonna spray mine just a couple times and try not to um, spray my entire house and my iPad and everything. All right. So now that our beans have been watered, we are gonna move on to the castle and the um, cloud part, okay? Are you guys ready? All right, cool. So this is gonna be our, our giant's castle and the cloud and all that stuff. Cause this is from Jack and the Beanstalk, right? Have you guys heard the Jack and the Beanstalk story before? I'm sure a lot of you have, but that's what we're doing. Cold water is perfect. Cold water is perfect. You can do whatever temperature you want. Probably shouldn't be hot, but cold water is probably good. Um, so that way your bean seed doesn't get too hot, okay? All right, so we're gonna move on to the craft part. So I'm gonna give you guys a few minutes. Um, so that way, if you want to decorate your castle, you can do that. Um, I didn't bring any crayons or anything over myself, um, but if you guys want to decorate your castle, I am going to just kind of hang out for a minute or two um, so that you can do that real quick. It's probably gonna be easier to decorate it before we put everything together. Um, Cause once it's got tape and it's on the skewer and everything, like it might not sit totally flat. So take just a couple minutes and decorate if you want the picture that i found online they kind of made it look like a castle you see how they've got black lines on there they kind of made it look like a castle with windows and they made it look like bricks and stuff but you can do whatever you want with your castle and we're gonna put the um cotton over the cloud but if you want to decorate your cloud too you can you just might not be able to see it once you put the cotton on top of it okay so i'm gonna kind of just hang out for just a minute until um you guys are hopefully done decorating your castles if you don't want to decorate it you don't have to do that it's totally up to you if you don't decorate it though it's going to look exactly like this so whatever you want is fine. We're just going to 
kind of sit. If anybody um, has come in late on Facebook since I have started, um, this video is going to be saved so you can go back and watch it from the beginning. It'll be like a few minutes after we uh, like end the live feed. It takes a few minutes uh, for Facebook to, I don't know, do something so that way the whole thing is available again. Um, but we've just been going through step by step, um, and I did ask that you guys let me know in the comments how many kids you have watching with us today. You don't have to tell me their names or anything, just a number. Um, so that way the library can kind of keep track of how many kids picked up the bags versus how many actually did the program. Uh, we're trying to keep numbers in as many creative ways as possible since normally you're all just here with us and we can count you. Um, this is a little bit different obviously than past summer so if you don't mind just letting me know a number um, of how many kiddos are doing the program with us that way I can keep track that would be awesome. I'm going to give you guys just another couple of minutes, maybe another minute or two. Two minutes sounds good. All right, I see some very nicely decorated castles. Very good. I love it. I was excited about this craft. I thought it was going to be really cute and fun. And then when I saw that this guy was growing so nicely, I was thrilled. I wasn't sure how like good of an example we would have to show you but this look this worked out really well our little beanstalk is almost up to our castle jack can almost climb up there all right so just like while i'm waiting i don't want to rush the kids too much this is how we'll be doing these programs uh, for the rest of the summer. There's one program every single week that has a craft and then there's one that does not. So like this Friday uh, we're doing fairy tale yoga so obviously there's no craft for that. There's no pickup bag. There's no anything. You guys just have to be ready in your comfy clothes um, to do some yoga with me. So that one should be really fun. Uh, but then like next week we have our Wrangler and Friends program is on Monday, 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 Monday. She was not available on Wednesday, so we're doing the program on Monday next week. That one does have a craft bag. Um, and then the next two Wednesday programs, it's the Wednesday programs, but then, like I said, next week is Monday instead of Wednesday, but it's in place of the Wednesday program. Um, so we'll have the craft bags the day before from 12 to four, and then the morning of from nine to 12. So the one that's on Monday, we will have the bags ready this Friday from 12 to four to come pick up and then also on Monday morning from nine to 12. So that one's a little bit messed up just because we couldn't stick with our Monday or our Wednesday schedule. Um, but every other day, it'll be Tuesday, will be the pick up in the afternoon and then you can pick it up Wednesday morning, like right before the program too. So I know that's a lot of pick up for you guys, but we do not have room to store all of the craft bags for the whole month at one time. Um, we had these bags completely covering our uh, back work table for the last week, so there's no way for us to store um, all the bags for you guys to pick everything up at once, so I'm sorry, but then maybe that way you can come in and get new library books when you come to get your craft bag, or you can show us your reading log and we can give you prizes if you've reached a prize. So. It's all, uh, it's all kind of a plan. There's a method to the madness sometimes. So that's kind of what we've got. But for these programs, we'll have Zoom and Facebook. The only ones that are not going to be available on Facebook are next week. Our Wrangler and Friends program on Monday and the Roz Puppet Show next Friday are not going to be on Facebook. You have to join us on Zoom. Uh, these two are uh, performers that have graciously offered to do programs for us, so we didn't want to take advantage of that and broadcast it all over. Um, so essentially signing in on Zoom would be the equivalent of coming to the program in real life, and you'd have to come to the program in real life to see it um, if it was a normal summer. So that's kind of how we're doing that. But everything else, the rest of the crafts and all that stuff is all going to be on Facebook um, as well. If you have any questions, you can um, leave me a comment or call the library or anything. I know it's a weird summer and we're all just trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, but you can always ask if you have questions, okay? All right. 
hopefully you guys are done decorating your castles. Um, that was a little bit of a longer break than I meant to take, but I got to talking and had things to say. So we're gonna keep going um, with our with our castle and our cloud part of the craft, okay? So let's do the cotton part first. So go ahead and put your castle to the side for now. It's nice and decorated, but we'll do that part in just a minute. So take your cloud, and what I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you put glue all over your cloud, okay? And then you're gonna stick the cotton down on top. You might have to stretch it. You can stretch it into smaller pieces if you want to. You can kind of do, I've got a fan going, everything's blowing away. You can kind of do whatever you want. You can make it as thin or as thick as you want to, um, but we're gonna just put the glue right on the cloud. I have this nice purple glue, so that way um, you can see where I have put my glue. Hold on just a second. So this is what mine looks like with the glue. And then I am going to just stick this cotton that I have down on top of it so that it is a nice fluffy cloud. All right, and if you have cotton left over, it is yours to keep. <laughs> we don't need anything back. <laughs> so however much will fit, see I have a little bit left over that's not gonna fit on my cloud, but that's okay. So my cloud looks like this, now that it's all done. All right, so when you're all done with that, just set it aside for just a minute. We're gonna glue our castle on next. Right. So once you've got your clouds all ready, I think it's going to be easiest if we put glue on our castle. So take your castle, whichever side is the front side, okay? So whatever side you decorated, you're going to put a little bit of glue on that. You see how our cloud is in front of our castle? So if I turn it around, you can see the castle's in the back, okay? So put a little bit of glue on the bottom of your castle, like on the feet, and then we're gonna stick our cloud to that part, okay? So your castle should look like this. However you've got it decorated is fine, but you're gonna have a little bit of glue on the bottom. And then if you flip your cloud over to the back, you can just stick your ca uh, your castle to the cloud, okay? All right. So then when you are done, from the front it looks like this, and from the back it looks like this, okay? I'll give you just a minute. We're almost done with this one. I hope you guys are excited and I hope your magic beans grow very, very tall. All right. All right, cool. So now what you're gonna do, we are gonna take the pointy part and we are gonna put it on the bottom. So flip it upside down so that the pointy part is down against the table, okay? That's gonna be the part that we stick down into the pot. So the not pointy part is what we're gonna glue, or tape, sorry, tape to the back of our cloud and castle little thing, okay? So get a little bit of tape. It looks like we did one, ooh, that's, oh, that's so almost empty. We did one across like this, like a T, 
And then we did another piece of tape vertically. We did two pieces on our example. I have used the last of my tape, so I'm not going to be able to do that. But if you wanna make a T shape with the tape, just to make sure that it's really stuck on there, however you wanna do that is fine. Um, but go ahead and tape your castle and your cloud to your, uh, to your little skewer. So I'm gonna tape it to the cloud part um, down here. So like I said, however you wanna get that taped is totally fine, but just tape that on there so that way we've got one piece, okay? Yeah, that's not my best work, but it's okay. All right, so this is what you should have after the tape. You've got your uh, castle and your fluffy cloud, and now it is taped to our skewer, so that way our, our beanstalk can grow up toward it, okay? All right, the last step, are you ready? So, you put your bean seed right in the middle, remember? At the very beginning when we put our bean seed in the middle, so we don't wanna put our skewer right in the middle in case we hit one of our beans, okay? So what we're gonna do is you can pick, you can either put the skewer in the very front or you can put it in the very back, it's up to you. But make sure you don't put it in the very middle so that way it doesn't hurt our beans, okay? All right, so I put mine in the front but you can put yours wherever you want as long as you don't put it in the very middle, okay? All right, all right, what do you think? Now we've got our bean seeds in here ready to grow and they're gonna grow up toward our castle and they will hopefully look like this after about a week. We left this in a windowsill um, and it got watered close to every day. Uh, the weekend was a little rough for us because we were um, not there because the library was closed, but um, if you want to give it a little bit of water every day um, and keep it in a sunny place so that way it has lots of sunlight and water to help it grow big and tall, that's probably a good idea. Um, if you really want to plant these bean seeds in the ground eventually to have them grow, um, it recommended waiting three or four weeks and then moving it either to a bigger pot or to the ground. Um, so whatever you want to do, you totally can. If you have a brown pot, you can put the brown pot right in the ground because they are compostable. So they will disintegrate and it won't be bad for the earth. But obviously if you have one of these pots, you cannot just put plastic in the ground. So you'll have to, you'll have to get your bean seed out or at least take out all the dirt and plant it that way. So that was the only difference. You remember at the beginning I said there was a difference with the pots, but that was really the only one was if you want to plant it long term. Um, the brown pots you can put right on the ground, but the plastic ones you obviously cannot. So that is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Some of you I can see your crafts and they look awesome. I can't wait to see if your beans grow tall like ours did. You'll have to let me know when you're in the library if your beans are growing big and strong. So that is what we've got for today. And like I said earlier, this is kind of how this is going to go this summer. I know this was the very first one, so it was a little bit like this connection. Okay, I think I'm good. Facebook gave me a weird pop-up, but... Um, I'm getting ready to sign off anyway. So I think we are good on that. Um, like I said, we'll be back on Friday afternoon for fairy tale yoga, and that will be on Zoom and on Facebook. And there's no materials. You don't need anything special for that one. Just join me if you want to do some fun yoga poses inspired by fairy tales and nursery rhymes. But other than that, um, I am going to go ahead and sign off. So thank you guys for joining me, and I will see you later this summer, okay? Bye!